Hello friends this episode of Dr Kohat deals with dairy equipment hygiene hygiene plays an important role in any food producing plant dairy being one of the most important sector of indian agriculture economy it's our duty to know more about the hygienic aspects of dairy equipment the basic principles of dairy equipment hygiene are to separate the dirt and waste from the equipment carrying it away and dispersing it suitably the hygiene of equipment should be such that the bacterial contamination should be low mainly the liquid milk films the air dried films the heat precipitated films the heat hardened films the milk stone miscellaneous foreign matter are the possible dirt in dairy equipment the chemicals used for ensuring dairy equipment hygiene mainly includes detergents and sanitizers detergents are the substances capable of assisting cleaning the detergents should have germicidal action wetting and penetrating power emulsifying power saponifying power deflocculating capability sequestering and chelating power quick solubility non corrosiveness to metal surfaces and should be economical the detergents may be of different types the alkali detergents such as caustic soda soda ash sodium silicate the acid detergents such as tartaric acid phosphoric acid the polyphosphate or chelating agents such as tetraphosphates and the surface active agents such as tpol and common soap the sanitizers are substances capable of destroying pathogenic and non pathogenic microbes sanitizers should be non toxic quick acting relatively non corrosive to the hands and equipment and should be easily and quickly applied the commonly used dairy sanitizers are the steam hot water and chemicals like chlorine iodophores and quaternary ammonium compounds the methods of cleaning any dairy equipment include hand washing mechanical washing and cleaning in place or cip method the cip refers to that system of cleaning and sanitization which does not require the daily dismantling of dairy equipment in order to ensure sterility of the dairy equipments tests such as surface sampling method like swab contact method surface rinse method adhesive tape method vacuum method and agar contact method such as rodac method and agar slice method are used we'll meet in the next episode with another topic thank you